So what can I, as a mentally ill person, convince you I did or didn't do once you start accusing me on YouTube that my ex-wife never brought any charges against me, right? For 11 years, right? We divorced implicably. You know what that means, right? right? We agreed to certain terms, and we met those terms until I got out of the Navy, and then... <laughs> Which was child support, right? <laughs> At least until I got out of the Navy and got on my feet again, right? <laughs> and then it took me going on disability to work it all out, right? Because I couldn't hold down the job, right? And I tried to work for two years, too, right? Now, like I told you, I've been around children since a child myself, idiot, <laughs> right? I'm not trying to have sex with them all or I'll get in trouble. People would notice that, don't you think? <laughs> and I'm not someone who really hangs out with children either. either. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is if your stepmother were to wake you up in the middle of the night, why would she do it? <laughs> if you're asleep on the couch. <laughs> You can't put words in my mouth I never said. <laughs> you like doing that a lot. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I never said I couldn't resist her or shit like that. No. <laughs> I just wouldn't know why she was waking me up in the middle of the night when I have to figure it out. Right. Now, two of the simplest reasons that she needs help peeing or going to the bathroom or something. Right. At four. <laughs> she should be potty trained a little, but if she peed herself or something, you don't know. <laughs> and from there, I'm making up what we would do if we encountered each other, idiot. <laughs> Which you can neither prove nor disprove. Right? Nor can I prove it with a mental illness. This is what happened or not either. either. <laughs> I'm making it up for you, and I told you why. Mm hmm Asked my ex-wife, did I lick her own <laughs> vagina? <laughs> or did I have an older girl who was still around pre-teen age try to put her crotch in my face for real? For real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> All I know is I was trying to be with her mom, not her, not her. <laughs> And all I can do is talk to a girl that age, right? Uh huh. <laughs> and everything I'm doing, I'm have amnesia with, right? Right. Now I remember being with the mom, but not while the daughter put her crotch in my face, right? But if I'm sleeping in the living room, anyone going to the kitchen area to wake me up. Mm hmm. But I don't remember being waking up until the next morning. So there you go again. Right. And twice that happened with a woman who had a daughter. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Though I didn't seek them out. They kind of were at the movie theater or whatever was going on. Right. I met the mom at the club. <laughs> Some of them I didn't know their situations. They were just one night scenes, right? Right. And that's the whole point, right? <laughs> now, when you're used to more one night scenes, though, and a 37 year old woman tells you she's 37, right? <laughs> You have no reason to doubt her either if she acts like she wants to do more than your nails. <laughs> I don't know. Which is kind of the point, too, right? Any person, though, I meet for the first time, no matter where we're meeting, whether we do something or not, right? Now, I'm always ready not to do anything, but I'm also ready to do something with a woman, right? If you're consenting, right? 
That's the point, too. If you act like you want sex with me and you say you're 37, I don't know you're not. <laughs> I can't read your mind. Right. That's schizophrenia, too, thinking you can read someone's mind. Right. That's a mental illness, too. That's part of that mental illness. You think you know what someone else is thinking. Right. And everything you know is something I told you still kind of telling you I'm making it up because I'm not sure if anything happened. Right. Even with the male cousin. Right. Or the female cousin I tried to have sex with when I walked in on my parents around five or four, five or six, too. Right. That happened first, and then me and the male cousin took a bath, and he was kind of trying to rub his penis on me. <laughs> right. One time. And, um, and we didn't really date or anything or really hang out with each other a lot after that either. That was the only time we had a bath together, right? And like I said, what does that make me buy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't really expect that to happen or know what to do about it when it did. <laughs> right? But nothing happened as far as sexual. Anyway. Except with the female cousin. <laughs> Who I was actually trying to have sex with, right? But that could be because I walked in on my parents having sex, right? Whatever the reason, right? <clears throat> no, no. But like I'm telling you, you have a lot of issues. And like Austin Powers' dad said, here's a tissue sometimes. I can't do nothing about your issues, right? You want to be gay, you want to be trans, you want to be this, you want to be that, right? <laughs> well, you can be, you can be. <laughs> now, Jesus is the Lord from heaven, right? And went back to heaven, idiots, right? Unless you're suggesting Peter and the disciples burnt his body, which is the only way you can't find the body, right? You burn it beyond all recognition, and DNA can't even help you then, right? <laughs> because they had a place in Jerusalem called Gehenna <laughs> where they burnt the sacrifices after they were done. Right. <sighs> it talks about that in Hebrews. Right. Now other than that, right, what else can you do with the body of Jesus? Right. Right. Bury it. Bury it. <laughs> right. Or he was resurrected, right? Unless you're suggesting all that was in the mind of the disciples. Now, how can a few men or the Apostle Paul, if it wasn't real, reach as many people as he reached? Now, 2,000 years ago, idiot. <laughs> you can't prove anything. Right. Everything has changed. <laughs> Even the demographics of Jerusalem aren't the same. Right. There's no longer a temple there that was there when Jesus was ministering. Right. But it was destroyed around 30 years after. Right. The only reason the Western Wall is still standing is the Jews told Titus that Jesus prophesied the destruction of the temple and that he would tear it all down. <laughs> That's why he didn't tear down the Western Wall. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bit, bit. <laughs> but the rebuild a new temple, you got to tear down the Western Wall. So, 2,000 years later, if you want to rebuild the temple, you got to tear down the Western Wall. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> and that fulfills Jesus' prophecy that not one song would lay upon the other. Mm. Even if it's 2,000 years later. I <laughs> know it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you're not thinking like men following Jesus. You're men following your own ideas of God. Right. Which means you're making it up as you go along. Right. And God knows you're doing that too, by the way. Even Satan can do following better than you. Because <laughs> he knows God. Right. <laughs> but sins anyway. I <laughs> know that. That's the difference. Right. Figure it out for yourself. 